Hello and welcome to the Bonstell Theatre. My name is Darrell Jones. I'm a third year BFA acting student here at Wayne State University. I also minor in mathematics. Thank you for coming to see our performance of Intimate Apparel, written by Lynn Nottage. I hope you enjoy the show. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, working on this show has been um, a really interesting and um, collaborative experience for me. Uh, when I first read this script, um, I immediately connected with the idea of dreaming or daring to dream, you know, um, that's something that's really prevalent in this story. All, every single character has a dream and somehow that dream is, you know, blocked or something, but um, the idea of dreaming. Here we are in, you know, Detroit and this crisis is an economic crisis and we still have beauty in the city. We still have people dreaming. And, you know, back in that time, back in the 1900s, you know, a lot of people were going through a lot of different things where, you know, um, the character Esther, she, she mentioned that her parents were, were slaves. So these are, these are people who are just a generation from slavery, you know, basically, and they're fending for the, their lives, you know, and they also have, you know, some sort, some sort of hope, you know, which is, you know, a reflection of also what's happening today, you know. Last year when we did Flow, when we performed Flow, um, that was it was a really interesting, interesting experience. Um, first of all, the story was about seven storytellers. So here we are, um, these seven storytellers coming from different backgrounds and experiencing different things, different crises, and still having the ability to step outside of themselves and wish and dream to pass on a story to the next generation. Where, in, in contrast to uh, Lynn Nottage's uh, Intimate Apparel, these characters are not necessarily passing their stories along, but they're daring to dream. I enjoy the fact that Lynn Nottage and Will Power, they, they decided to, they had the, the courage to write about these topics that are often um, missed you know, in our society, things that people don't talk about. I really enjoy the intimacy of the studio. Uh, this, this past year, we performed um, in Tr uh, Trouble in Mind, written by Alice Childress in the, in the studio theater. And it was a, a rather interesting performance. Here again, Alice Childress writing about stories that often are are missed and people look over. The Bond style, however, it calls for a different um, energy. It calls for a bigger energy. It calls for, um, you know, a connection to a much larger audience, you know. So, but I, I really enjoy working in the Bond style simply because the audience hearts are so big it seems that because you're in such a huge space that the audience hearts are huge and they're listening to you and they want to hear your story. Claire is an amazing costume designer. Um, the transition from George's first character in Act 1 is quite different from his character in Act 2. So, you know, I, I feel that Claire cleverly put hit, put, put, put together the costumes and also, I mean, the ladies, I love their wigs, it's so period. Um, just all the garments are really beautiful and just really period and they really match the story really well and they help the story to deepen a lot. Um, as far as the scenic, I, I really enjoy the scenic as well. Here we have all these suitcases and things. It, it really throughout the set there are like these huge suitcases and the idea of George coming from Panama the idea of um, Esther carrying around her her luggage everywhere she goes mm -hmm. to do work you know these these are things that are reflected without you know reflected throughout the set and um, it's, it's quite amazing the lighting it's phenomenal. I love the lighting, actually. It's one of, yeah, I really enjoy the lighting in this show. Yeah. Right on.